I couldn't believe it. My drawing wanted to date me? I'd never been with someone so beautiful before. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I just found a game that allows you to date anything. It's called Doodle Date, and it allows you to draw anything or anyone that you want, and then you can date them. Ooh, I'm excited. Summer vacation ended, and as usual, I remained single throughout it. No summer flings, no beach parties, just me and a whole lot of TV and video games. This game really speaks to me, even though I'm married. Even my 18th birthday wound up being a fluke. So here I was back at school and back to hearing about everyone else's summer exploits. Good thing it's my last year in high school. Hopefully in college I won't have to put up with this kind of crap. For now, it's just back to idle doodling. Just as I was opening my notebook, I heard a strange voice coming from inside the pages. Hey there, who the hell are you, Claire? It was one of my old drawings. I couldn't believe it, she was talking. I can't believe it's you. We were worried sick, we thought you'd never come back. W what Come back from where? Beats me, you used to draw on our pages all the time and suddenly you left, no matter. Now, you're back. Come on in, creator. <laughs> oh, that's my name, creator? That's a terrible name. Before I could reply, I suddenly found myself being pulled into the pages of my notebook by a mysterious force. Oh my god. What is happening? Welcome, creator, to Doodle World. The place where all your wonderful creations come to life, including me. Thanks for that, I enjoy existing. Hmm. To demonstrate, I have brought you to one of our blank pages. What? Bring me back to the real world this instant. This is a real world, silly. Anyway, let's loosen up those wrist muscles, eh? Start by drawing something simple like your favorite fruit. Go ahead, try it. Hmm. Okay. So, um, you just gotta go like that. And like that, and then like that. Uh-huh, looking good so far, and we gotta put a little uh, a little thing on it, right? There you go. It's a, it's a, it's a peach. It's a very round, juicy peach. <laughs> now what, what do I do now? Wow, that looks delicious! I could have drawn anything, guys. I could have drawn something disgusting, but I drew something that mildly looks like a butt instead because I'm, um, I'm family friendly. Tell all your kids about me. You sure know how to draw. Not very lively though, is it? Why don't we try creating a person we can talk to? Make sure it's a cute one. You never know if a drawing might have a thing for their creator. Okay. Um, not that I'm applying anything. Oh, 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 she's embarrassed now. My relationship with you is strictly professional. Why would it matter? Why are you being like that? Anyway, go ahead, draw yourself up a dream date. <sighs> I'm ready. I am ready. I am going to draw my favorite meme of 2018, possibly ever, because I think they're the perfect match. They can sing, they have, uh, they have interest in, in intellectual things like books, and damn, are they curvy. That's right, I'm talking about the Glob Glow Gab Glab. Mm, tickling my fancy right now. Oh, I can't, I gotta stop thinking about it. If you think this is an overused meme, you just don't have the same appreciation for the Glob Glow Gab Glab that I do, okay? He is my favorite person in the whole world, so shut your mouth. And he's also my dream date. This is about to get really awkward. I might need to try this a few times. What the hell is going on, man? It's not letting me draw as good as I'd like to, but that's okay. I got it, that's one. That's the other. Ooh, ha <laughs> ha splendid. Simply delicious. Well, the good news, guys, is there is an eraser tool because it's gonna take me a while to get this guy just right. I think his head is pretty good, but he's got like a really weird bumpy head and I was trying to get it just right, but I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, and I gotta try and make some arms. You know, guys, they say that the camera adds 10 pounds. I'm not exactly sure what the notepad does, but he looks a little thinner than normal. I think it's because I made his head too big, but that's totally fine. All right, that's a, that's a check mark right there. That's a good looking glob glob gab galab. Now I gotta make him sad. Oh, okay, I'll make him sad. Um, hmm. I'm just wondering if I should make just the top of him or if I should do the whole thing. I think the whole thing, I'm pretty sure I need to be able to see that body of his. It's no big deal if the two pictures look completely different, right? I'm really bad at replicating drawings, especially when I gotta use this to do it. It's fine, okay? It's it's completely fine. He looks good. They both look good. 
Oh, I have to draw him when he's shy. Uh, now that's gonna get weird. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit lazy here, guys, but there's only so many times you can draw the glob, glob, gab, glab. Okay, um, I'm just gonna have him cover in his face. I think that's the best way to show off shyness, right? Draw your dream date sultry. Oh God, what does sultry even mean? Attractive in a way that suggests a passionate nature. We're going nice and close for this one, guys. I don't want to draw his body anymore. And now we got this picture of him right here where he looks absolutely sultry. <laughs> okay, I put a little drool coming out of his mouth. That's how you know that he's very passionate. <laughs> oh, jeez. Angry? Oh, my God. So many things I have to draw here. He doesn't have any eyebrows. How does the, the glob go gab glab doesn't get angry. Okay, he just doesn't do that because that's not who he is. He just, he just sings. He swabbles and he dobbles and he glibbles and he glabbles. Whatever. Oh, this game is asking too much for me. There, he has eyebrows now, okay? Look, isn't that, that's, that's perfect. Let me give him some ears. We'll move on. Please, no more drawings. I've, I've done too many drawings now. Oh, we're ready. We're ready to date the glob, 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 glob. Oh, creator, that is simply stunning. I think what you mean to say is simply, simply delicious. delicious. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll let you two get to know each other a little better. Hello. <laughs> Sketchy, that's not your name. Uh, hi. Thanks for making me. You're welcome. I didn't have much choice. Do you know how I can leave this place? You wanted to leave so soon after making me. Oh, you hate me, don't you? <laughs> of course not. I don't hate you at all. I love you just like I love books. I just need to get back to my own world. I don't even know how I got here. I see. Well, I'm sure you just have tons of dates lined up in the real world, don't you? I mean, no. I mean, I, I, I don't see how that's relevant to the topic. Because if you stay, you might have one date lined up right now. <laughs> oh, no. What? I, 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 I couldn't believe it. My drawing wanted to date me? I'd never been with someone so beautiful before. Oh. Hey. Eyes up here. <laughs> I was looking at his his lumps, his lovely lumps. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> so what will it be, Big Shot? Should I stay? Dwabble double glibble glabber scribble swap glab. Dibble double shribble shrubble glibber glab swap. Yeah, I think I should. I think I really think I should. I mean I suppose I could stay here a bit longer, especially if it means you and I could you know. <laughs> Hang out? That's what I meant. Just say it, you weirdo. Date. Can I date you, please, Mr. Glob Glow Gab Galab, sir? Bingo. Yes, I love to go on a date. So, how does dating work in this world exactly? Here, let me show you. Ooh, ha ha ha. Splendid. Here we are. Uh, where are we exactly? Out to a fancy restaurant, of course. I want our first date to be classy. It looks exactly like where we were before, just a blank page. That's because you haven't drawn anything, silly, my dear Strawinsky. <laughs> Use your imagination. Go on, draw us up a waiter. Well, I am not wasting my time drawing things, okay? I just, I, I, I don't, I don't need this. There, it's a book. Cause, uh, cause the glob glob gab galab loves books, so if I surround him with things that he loves, maybe he'll love me too. Well, hello there, good looking. Uh, what can I get for you? Good looking? I said draw us a waiter, not a flirt. You can't just help but draw beautiful people who like you, huh? <laughs> what? No, I didn't mean to, I swear. Uh-huh, sure. Just like you didn't mean to make me gorgeous. Go on then. Tell our accidentally, remarkably attractive waiter exactly what it is they can get for you. You're the one saying how attractive this waiter is. It's not my fault you love books. This is completely backfiring on me. I thought we were gonna have a great time, but you're just checking out that book like a freaking library goer. What can I get for you? Uh, we would like a moment alone. I need you to get out of here for a second because you're totally cramping my date. We need a moment, I think, alone. Sketchy, everything okay? You know I don't control the personalities of my creations, right? I don't even know how this works. I just, I just draw things. Yeah, I guess I'm on the edge since this is my first date. My first living experience. And I wanted it to be special between you and me, my creator. <laughs> what do you see in me anyway? I mean, you just, you did just come into being quite recently. Why did you want to jump into dating me so suddenly? 
I... I don't know. I just felt so strongly about you after being created. I feel like we have a special connection. Like you put your love into making me. But seeing how the waiter behaved, I'm not so sure. Maybe this is just something all drawings feel towards their creators. Oh, this is getting complicated, man. This is getting, this is getting kind of weird. Well, maybe we just take it one step at a time, just see if something special really is there. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd like that. Ah, oh, we talked throughout the evening about whatever we could, small talk about the non-existent weather, favorite foods, etc. It wasn't much, but I could tell we were starting to bond. Finally, the night came to an end and we parted ways. I drew myself up an apartment to stay the night in and I slept like a baby in the comfiest bed I could imagine. Literally, I think I could get used to this place. Am I gonna wake up back into the real world or something? No, it's good. Good morning, sunshine. How was your first day in Doodle World? Say no more, I can tell by your tired expression that it went fantastic. Uh, what time is it? How did you get in here? It's time to get up, sleepyhead. And more importantly, time for another lovely outing with your dream date. W why so early? Because it's never too early to spend time with the love of your life. Wow, things are moving way too fast. Okay, I just need to, I just need, I need to take some time. Don't do this to me. How are you so sure? Because you created them as such, silly. I mean, I created you too, right? I can't say I'm sure what you're getting at. Moving on. I think, uh, I think this is supposed to end up with me dating Claire or something. This is getting weird. I've arranged for you and your dream date to meet at Doodle Park within the hour. Dry yourself up something nice to wear and let's get going. Oh God. Clothes? I don't get it. What is it? What? Oh yeah. Here, uh, oh. Yeah, I want to wear a t-shirt. I want to show off, show off my body. I want to wear a pair of pants too. Yep, oh yeah, I'm gonna put those on. I'm gonna have some shoes. Look at those shoes. Oh, those are really good shoes. Um, yeah, okay. Wow, those look like sh- <laughs> Oh man, why are you doing this to me, Claire? You're definitely not wearing those. Tell you what, just keep what you're wearing already. Fashion isn't your strongest suit. And would you look at the time? We've only got 45 minutes to get to your date. And it looks like the park is another blank page. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. Hey there, somebody wake up on the wrong side of the bed? No, no, sorry, still getting used to everything being a blank slate here. I actually haven't slept better in years. I, uh, I had fun with you last night. <laughs> yeah, me too. So what do you want to do, my dear Strawinski? Um, I wanna go for a walk or a, 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 a what do slugs do? They slither? Do they slither? Snakes slither. Slugs slide. Slide. Uh, go for a slide. I'd like to. I'd like to go for a slide. I suppose we could go on a walk, view the uh, natural beauty of this place. That sounds nice. We walked in silence for a long while, aimlessly stepping through pages, occasionally admiring stray flying scribbles that whizzed by overhead. Finally, I broke the tension. So, what sort of things have you been doing lately? I mean, I know you're recent, a recent drawing, but do you have any hobbies? Anything you like, dislike? Well, since last night, I decided to simply explore. I find I like walking along the lines of the paper, and for some reason I've been craving fruit ever since my inception. But more than anything, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Do you think something is wrong with me? Is my existence just to exhibit some fantasy of yours and is thus hollow to begin with? That's, uh, that's heavy. On the other hand, you're really cute. <laughs> Sketchy reached out to hold my hand. They smiled at me as they clasped down. Do you, do you think I'm cute? You're more than cute. I think you're far more than cute. I think you're beautiful, gorgeous even, simply delicious. You are by far the most amazing person I have ever laid eyes on. Sketchy was silent as they looked at me in a way I'd never seen before. Suddenly, before I could react, Sketchy had grabbed me and pressed their graphite mouth against mine. Smooch. Sketchy passionately kissed me, engulfing me with sensual energy. I was taken aback and indistinctly held their body against mine. Their big, curvy, lumpy, bumpy body. Finally, the kiss was laid to rest after what felt like a blissful eternity. I only wish it could have lasted forever. Ahem. I, uh, I better get going. 
Oh, what's the rush? This all feels like it's moving so fast. I think I just need to, need to lie down for a bit. Oh, I see. Don't feel bad, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow? Hopefully more than that. Sketchy let go of my hand and walked away. I could still feel their phantom kiss, which kept my spirit up as I made my way back to my apartment. I think I'm really starting to like this place. Well, damn, now that was an experience, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna end the video here. If you wanna see me date the Glob Glow Gab Glab some more, or, you know, if you just enjoyed the video and you wanna show some support, leave a like. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.